Gervonta Davis rips a boxing website for reporting that he is fighting against Abnamadas next. That's what I want to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I am back with some more boxing. SLC, subscribe, like, and comment. Now, Gervonta Davis, he took to his Twitter account, verified page, and he responded, there's a boxing news website. It says, Gervonta Davis to possibly face hashtag Abnormadas in January, right? To which Gervonta Davis responded and says, your source or your sources are S-H-I-T. They're it. So that's a direct diss and a direct response to these allegations of the article. Now, if you guys follow Twitter and boxing on Twitter, you'll see, and I don't know, there's a lot of platforms, YouTube, you got TikTok, you got Instagram, and you got Twitter, also Facebook, Facebook groups and stuff. There's been this ongoing rumor that Gervonta Davis would be fighting against Abnamadas. I don't know how this started, I don't know, you know, where it came from, nor do I care because you're hearing from the horse's mouth. He says your sources are ish, which makes me believe that Gervonta Davis absolutely is not fighting Abnamadas next. Now, me having brain cells in my head, I never believed this to be the case anyway. You know, where did this originate from? Who said that? We don't know. All we know is Tank said after the Roly fight, he's a free agent and contractually free. He has not come out and said anything. He has not said who his next fight is going to be against. We haven't really heard much. Like last time I seen Tank was spending time with his family and shopping and stuff like that. So I don't know what's going on in the game, but the game is getting real fickle where just because it, it's available and it's the Internet, you have people who just, I guess, man, manufacture their own truths or whatever they want. And, you know, we should really be leaving it to the fighter and let the fighter announce their fights. I, I think it was very refreshing to see Gervonta Davis, you know, come out and clap back. And it was very refreshing to me to see Caleb Plant come out and announce his next fight with David Benavides because sometimes you get ESPN or a boxing reporter or YouTubers or whoever and then they come out and try to announce the fight to the public before the fight is official you know so it takes a, I just feel like it kind of takes something away from it when that is the case so I like the fighters speaking up on behalf of their their own careers and letting the fans know what's gonna happen now, I've been in this game for a while, and one thing I can say is I have great relationships with fighters, trainers, fans, you know, I'm the best in the business. And at the end of the day, it's going to hurt the credibility when you spread rumors, which I've seen a ton of people saying the Abnamadas, like this, this boxing website posted that, and they said their sources are saying that Tank is going to fight Abnamadas. Where did you get this info from? Who said that to you? It's like Deontay Wilder said he had an interview and he says a lot of people rather be first rather than to be right. You know, people cannot wait to announce some stuff on your behalf and they don't care about being right. They just care about being first. So I, I really feel that's a hindrance and it doesn't help grow the sport of boxing if there's a ton of misinformation and it's put out and then it really shoots your credibility when come to find out the information that is being spread is not the case. Like, what is this boxing website? What do they say when you're predicting that he's going to fight Abnamadas and then he's saying your sources are, are full of it? Now, I, I spoke on this on my Twitter and Leonard Ellerby he's seen it and he liked it so to me that's kind of a cosign if you will 
that this is unfounded rumors that are not true. Or at the very least, that's how I'm considering it and that's how I'm taking it. The fact that he liked it. So I don't know where this Abnormatis talk came up. Abnormatis was virtually out of the sport for several years. Keep in mind, he was supposed to fight against Tank Davis many years ago. So that was actually a thing, right? He had a super long layoff, and I believe his family didn't want him to come back to the sport of boxing, if I'm not mistaken, because he has a job as a commentator on Showtime. So you see from 2018 to 2022, so he's out the ring like four years, and he just came back. I think it was on the Andy Ruiz card, if I'm not mistaken, Andy Ruiz, Luis Ortiz, and he just fought to a draw and a lot of people thought he could have possibly lost that fight but it was a it looks like a draw majority decision draw right against Miguel Flores a guy that Leo Santa Cruz had already beat so at the end of the day he hasn't fought since 2018 and he didn't fight for four years he looked sharp in the early rounds but then he totally faded which is really to be expected given how long he was out the ring. Because I thought he looked, when he came back, and he looked like really like the old Abnormatis. But that being out the ring for so long definitely had some effect in the second half of the fight. And that's where people thought he possibly could have lost the fight, right? Either way, it was a draw. So why would Tank be fighting him of all people next? That just doesn't make sense. And I even seen this floating around it says davis versus Matas, and it's a fan-made graphic and you can look at the fan-made graphic this was when they were already supposed to fight four years ago and you can tell because the graphic the newly resurfaced graphic above the davis because it says davis Matas, above it you can see somebody it looks like they use some kind of markup app like a sharpie and they erased all the date and the information. So this was an old flyer, and I know that because I followed the page that made it, the graphic designer, and he made that four years ago whenever they were supposed to fight, actually scheduled to fight originally. So again, I don't know where this came up. I don't know how this, this rumor resurfaced, but it just sounds like a guessing game, and, and Tank is pretty much putting a stop to that. Last we heard that Tank was in negotiations with Ryan Garcia. And another reason why this rumor didn't make sense with what I just said is he was in negotiations with Ryan Garcia trying to get a fight over the line. And then if you listen to Steven Espinoza of Showtime, where Tank has been fighting, he was on a Twitter spaces called Chicken Talk. And Steven Espinoza literally said, Errol Spence did not have a backup plan. We were single-mindedly focused on making the Terrence Crawford fight, as is the case with Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia. So Steven Espinoza, you know, somebody who's actually in charge that can make some things move and has a network, he's saying something completely different. He's saying that Tank Davis and Errol Spence they were both in negotiations, of course, Crawford and Ryan Garcia for the opponents, the B-side opponents in those equations. And he said we were single-mindedly focused on making those fights. So how did Abner Mata, so you mean to tell me they're talking to Ryan. We still haven't heard yay or nay. Ryan Garcia is on Twitter posting some things like a storm is coming, which could be a, a inkling that he's fighting tank. We'll see. I'll, like I said, for me on my channel, I'm just going to wait for an actual announcement from Tank or something credible, right? From Ryan Garcia, whatever the case may be. Oscar De La Hoya is talking crazy about exposing people. Ryan's talking about a storm is coming. Last we heard, they were in negotiations. Where do people get off saying that Tank is fighting Abnomatis? Like, how did Abnomatis, especially when I just gave you guys the blueprint? Steven Espinoza of Showtime said they're single mindedly focused on making Crawford and Spence until Crawford pulled out and says, hey, I'm going to fight David Avenesian on BLK Prime and 
were single-mindedly focused on making Tank and Ryan Garcia. So I don't understand how people even tried to flip that and said, hey, guess what? He's fighting Abner Modest. Like there's people, you would probably see a Leo Santa Cruz rematch or a Roley rematch or Isai Pitbull Cruz rematch well before you seen Tank versus Abner Modest off of a four-year layoff with only one fight that ended in a draw that people thought he could have lost to Flores. I mean, the whole thing sounds bonkers. It sounds bananas. And I was never buying it. So, again, on my channel, I can't speak for anyone else, but I can speak for me. I will keep you guys posted if there's some real information regarding it. But based on Tank saying that, that lets me know that the Abnomata stuff is capped, which I already knew. That's why you didn't see. I didn't make no videos about that. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. SLC, subscribe, like, and comment. I am the best in the business. And I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks, right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a Super Thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.